Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to talk about the surface for network curves command. Okay, let's start. Okay, what we have on screen is a surface and three curves. And we are required to create a surface over here that is using the curves as its edges. And additionally, this surface must be curvature matched to this surface over here. Okay. Before we proceed to do the surface or network curves, there is a generic surface continuity principle that I need to highlight to the viewer. That is that generally, in order for us to be able to create a surface that is matched to a certain condition, for example, curvature, the curves that are used to create the surface must firstly be matched to the same condition or higher in order for us to be able to create the surface properly. Okay, that means to say, in our case here, I need to match this curve okay to the condition of curvature to this edge and likewise this curve to the condition of curvature to this edge before i can proceed to create the surface here okay okay so uh, we can create the matching of the curves by using the match curve so i'm going to click this and this and then set it to curvature okay and click okay and then click this and this and set it to curvature okay okay so now we have already uh, matched the curves to the correct matching condition okay which is curvature in this case here okay and then we can proceed to create our surface using the surface on network curves okay So you can click on this surface on network curve and select curves in the network. Okay, this, 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 and this. Enter. And then you notice for A, B, and C, A, B, and C, I can only set to position and not tangent and curvature. Why is this so? Okay, this is because there are no adjacent surfaces to match for these sides okay whereas in the case of D because we have an adjacent surface over here there are additional options that we can use namely uh, tangency and curvature and in our case here because we want the matching condition to be curvature so we need to click curvature okay so I could click the OK and let's check the zebra Okay, analyze surface zebra. Okay, you notice now, yeah, the condition here is a uh, curvature. Okay, let me delete this. What if I match this side to position instead? Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to use the surface of network curve again, and now. The D, right? Let's set it to position, okay? And click OK. Let's check the zebra. Okay, now you notice that the surface is no longer matching to this edge here, okay? So um, that's why selecting the appropriate matching condition on the network curve is very important okay now I want to show another uh, scenario where the surface of network curve may be put to use okay so over here I have this object and I need to create a surface over here that need to appear to the cross sections and the cross sections are moving in 
two different directions. That means we have one in this direction and then one in the other direction. So from this kind of complex set of curves, we are not able to use things like sweep to real because there are too many curves that we need to use. And needless to say, sweep one rail will not be able to be used as well. And so is long. Okay. So in this kind of situation, we can use uh, the surface of network curves as a starting point for the surface creation. Okay. So um, I'm going to demonstrate it to you now. Okay. So I click on this and we can select this, this, and this, and this. And the uh, internal curves as well. Press enter. Okay. And I want to set the matching condition to curvature, okay, for all the sides, okay. Click OK. Yeah, so you can see we have created a surface. Okay. There's some uh, additional point that I want to bring out, okay, is that the surface on network curve has a tendency at times to create a lot of control points. As you can see over here, there are way too many control points. And in this kind of situation, I will say we might have to use the surface of network curve only as a starting point and then evaluate whether it is uh, really the best option in this scenario. Okay. And if you want to know uh, more about like what can we do to improve uh, this kind of situation, you might want to click on this label over here to go to another video. Okay. With that, I come to the end of this demo. See you around. Bye.